What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Good View Woodworks channel. My name is Nathan and this is part two of that little red serving board right here that I took out of the form. What you didn't see was I ran it through my planer just a couple of times just to, to plan it down. Um, as you can see, I didn't do anything to the rest of it. It's still glossy and shiny um, from coming out of the mold here. Um, but the top I planed down and you can see it's, it's smooth. Um, but I wanted to show you a couple of things. If you see here, you see I have a little bit of a cavity here, some right there, some here, right there, right there. Just, you know, some small voids. Um, so we just have a few small voids. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix up a little bit of epoxy and I'm going to pour them in these voids. Now, with this type of uh, fix, I would recommend using the quickest setting epoxy that you have. Um, I know of uh, Stone Coat Countertops has a, a, a quick coat and that sets up really quickly. Um, I don't have any of that. I just have some regular tabletop epoxy. Uh, some leftover stuff from Better Boat. And I'm just going to mix up just a little bit of that and pour it into these voids. We don't want to use the thick set stuff, and that's just because uh, it'll take too long to set. It, it's maybe poured into a thick pour. We don't want to pour it into a thick pour, so it would take a really long time to set up. We don't want to do that. So we're just going to uh, use some of that tabletop epoxy, which is maybe poured about an eighth inch and we will pour it into these little holes, okay? Now, if you are doing this, if you're filling these little holes, um, stuff like that, make sure that the hole doesn't go all the way through, and I'll show you what I mean. If you look right here on the bottom, there's a little hole right there, and I think that it would be a void, and maybe a little one right here. That's a void from, um, the top it goes all the way through. So we'll take a little bit of our masking tape, our Tyvek tape, and we'll just tape over those holes real quick, just in case. So let's do that. So I think what I'm gonna do, instead of just pouring and filling those holes, I think I'll go ahead and do a seal coat while I'm at it. All right, we're gonna mix this for three minutes, making sure we, scrapes the, we scrape the sides and the bottom. It's okay to mix for more than three minutes because it'll just make sure you get it mixed. Hit that subscribe button and also ring the bell and select all notifications so that you don't miss anything that I post.
All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and router the edges of these of this fire cutting board, charcuterie board. This thing's looking cool. But we, as you can tell, we've already sanded it. So now we're gonna take our trim router and we're just gonna do a quarter inch round over over the edges so that the epoxy wants to roll off the edges. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now that we have a nice round over on our stuff, um, we'll take a little bit of 220 sandpaper and just go over the edges a little bit, get rid of these like little chatter marks, um, and then we'll be ready for our final flood coat. If you guys haven't checked out the Ryobi um, router, this is a little trim router right here. It's battery powered, no cord needed. Um, it makes it super easy to round over the corners like we did here on the charcuterie board. Um, so I'll leave a link down in the description so you can go to Amazon and click it and get it. Okay, so now that that's over with, we're going to go ahead and um, pour some epoxy, get it mixed up, and pour our flood coat. Okay, so we have our Incredible Solutions tabletop epoxy. Um, you don't have to get the big two-gallon uh, kit. It'll come in smaller in a one-gallon kit, but... We only need about six or so ounces for this, maybe eight ounces. Uh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. If you notice, the jugs are the same size. That means you do one part hardener, one part epoxy when you mix. Okay, so let's do that. We got our little mixing cup here, and we'll go ahead and pour our epoxy. Always want to start, just like I say every single time, start with the hardener first because it's thinner. It doesn't want to sit on top and splash uh, if you were to pour it straight on top of this one on the epoxy. So we'll do four ounces of hardener. Okay. And we'll do four ounces of childproof of epoxy. <laughs> no, not at all. We're just mixing up some epoxy. You made it right in time. I want me to check you guys out. Y'all so fancy. <laughs> How y'all doing today? All right. <clears throat> so when you guys, uh, if you have a small amount of epoxy like we have right here, eight ounces, it's better to actually mix with a stir stick in, instead of a, a drill mixer because the drill mixer will put a bunch of air bubbles in there and it just it's a pain in the butt to get out. So we're just going to use just a stir stick. Now, if you guys notice, see like the strands. Uh, the different colors and things like that like there's two different colors almost milky you want to stir until it's one solid color or clear so we're going to do that stir for about three minutes okay we're done mixing here you notice we have some bubbles mixed in there that's okay we're going to use the heat gun to get it out but if you notice there's no swirls like almost like a metallic swirl that's because we got all of our stuff mixed together when you are mixing you make sure you want to scrape the sides and the bottom consistently to get all the unmixed epoxy mixed up guys when you do a flood coat it is going to waste a little bit a little bit of epoxy it's going to pour over that's okay um, you definitely want to and this is the reason okay if you don't have enough to flow over the edges and off onto the table 
the sides will, won't be they won't be smooth they'll have a very wavy or uh, like dry edge we don't want that so I know it hurts to waste epoxy because it's expensive but you have to sometimes all right especially if you want an epoxy finish so we'll go ahead and pour it out right here Okay, go ahead and use our trowel. We have a 1 8 by 1 8 square notch trowel. I'm gonna use this. Um, this one actually has multiple sizes, but we'll just use the, the 1 8 side, which is here. We're gonna do what we always say, which is mow the lawn. We're gonna spread it to the edges without making it flow over the edges. Can you back up some? Okay, now that we have it over the surface, we can start working it over the edges and you'll see what I'm talking about here. Okay, let me um, grab some gloves really quickly. All right, got our gloves. All right, we're gonna just take our hands and we're gonna smooth it out. Now, you see I got some dry spot right here. We're gonna need some more epoxy on the sides here. Luckily, I didn't pour everything out from the cup. You guys are gonna hate me for this one. I was just thinking the same thing. That's okay. Well, why are you wasting so much epoxy? We already went over this. Oh. We want to use a bunch of epoxy so that it self levels, and we want it on the edges. See how see how smooth the edges look here. If I didn't have enough, they would have looked dry. That's what we don't want. We don't want them to look dry. All right, we'll take our heat gun and we'll go over and pop all these bubbles. See all the bubbles popping? All right, so got a little bit of a spot here that doesn't have any epoxy. It's all you gotta do is put your finger on there. Look, it goes right away. Just a little dry spot right there. There we go. All right, now guys, remember we'll do this three times before we finish. So wait about 15 minutes each, go over another, go over it again with the heat gun. And that's it, we'll let it sit till it dries.
Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you would, do me a couple of favors. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Also, hit that like button and share this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below this video. And also, if you want to support this channel, go over to goodviewwoodworks.com and check out our merch. Plus, we also have pigments and um, recommended products like epoxy and things like that. So go over there and check that out as well. So guys, thank you for watching once again. And as always, thanks for hanging out with us.